Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Unbelievable. Alleged embezzlement of funds. Obaseki says new findings justify shutting down College of Education. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Hope you're well. Looking after yourself. A very warm big thank you to you. Yes, thank you very much for supporting us. We truly, really appreciate you. Uh, the newest, one of the newest governors in Nigeria today, as we speak, Governor Godin Obaseki, um, has just shut down the university, the um, College of Education, and says. Well, um, the justification for shutting down the College of Education has been, no, has been explained because there have been gross embezzlement of funds. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Alleged embezzlement of funds. Obaseki says new findings justify shutting down College of Education. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State says the decision to shut down College of Education in Ikadolo and Igborakehi has been vindicated by report of misappropriations of fund by the management. Obaseki stated this on Friday when he received the final report from the Commissioner of Inquiry into Activities of the institution, headed by former head of service, Mrs. Gladys Idoha, at the government house in Benin City, at the state capital. One underlining trend of this institution is poor governance and governors lamented. According to him, the institutions were so badly run that they were all grounded, and he believes that it was the height of deception for any Edo person to have insist insisted that they continued with the wrath. He therefore insisted that those indicated by the commission findings will face the consequences of their action, noting that his administration has already taken steps to transform the institution into standard manpower training center. We thank God we had the courage to take the actions we needed to take and, instituted, and institutions that are to be shut down are shut down and restructuring process have commenced. We would look we would like to take a deep look into this report. And as I've always said, we must try to get away from this purchase of people allowing persons to mismanage our public resources, running down public institution, and then go scot-free. This has to stop. It is a new it is a new Edo state, the dawn of a new day. Things, institutions, education, sectors must work. We want to look at this report and see if there are any grounds for persecuting some of these persons who are involved in destruction of the whole institution and the process of our children's education. These schools were set up to service certain purposes, to help in training high quality manpower to serve the state. They were not set up to serve the interests of a few people and their godfathers. And by the grace of God, with the renewed mandate which the Edo people have given me, I will not allow an institution where bad habits has led to the destruction of this findings of this our great institution. We will not allow it and allow it to continue at all. With another four years ahead of me, Edo State Governor has said he will make sure he has committed himself to the reform total re-overhauling of the education system. During his campaign, he has explained how his administration transformed basic education in the state through Edo Best to the applause of the whole world. According to him, Edo Best involved the use of technology to facilitate education. A system, he said, has come in handy through the pandemic. 
Well, Governor Gordon Obaseki's administration has found some irregularity that has started, uh, that is taking place right now in the College of Education. Uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki has moved a motion for the education, for the College of Education to be shut down as a result of embezzlement that have engulfed the system of education. He said that he will look into the report seriously and squarely, and those persons find to be the people that have been found to have granted the institution in such a way will be brought to justice and will be brought to book. Enough, he said, is enough of allowing people to go squat free after, you know, misappropriation of public funds. He said the schools were, found, were founded for purposes to be able to train our children manpower that will serve the state, you know, ultimately. But right now, some persons have taken it upon themselves and have mismanaged our fundamental, you know, uh, opportunity for the state to be developed. Some have taken it as their own cash cow. I've gone ahead and I've been spending the money meant to bring about restructuring, improvement of the education system in Edo State. He said this will be looked after seriously, especially with the new mandate he has been given by the Edo State people to manage Edo State. That he will not take, he will not take it for granted. He's going to pick up the challenge and he's going to work for the Edo State uh, people. He's going to make sure that this um, College of Education is restored to its glory. Uh, ultimately, he said the restructuring and the refacing has started already. You know, Gwaseki is saying to the people of Edo State, we can see that there has been gross mismanagement of our public fund, of our institution, and this is not acceptable. Nobody, no one should accept this kind of, you know, this kind of mismanagement and gross mismanagement that have continued to embezzle our society and our people. This is what is happening in Nigeria. If we give this, this our education system opportunity, not just the education system, you know, like we explain and we used to say, it starts gradually, yeah? Yes. So if we start gradually and we begin to look into our system, every sector, not just the education, but looking at our systems particularly, it starts from as little as your locality to your local government area, to your district, to the state, and that's how it spreads into the whole country. I tell you, if Obaseki can get, get things right, especially with this four, uh, this, uh, four years, Nigerians will be the ones to nominate him for presidency. So Governor Gordon Obaseki, there you have it. You know you can make this work. You can. Edo is depending on you. And if you can prove yourself again and again, people of Nigeria will be the one to say, Governor Obaseki contests for presidency. And guess what? The way the whole world, because it was beyond Edo State, I must tell you sincerely, stood up for you to say there must be fairness, there must be, it must be free, fair election, will stand up for you again. So get it right and let it begin to spill into the nation. Let Edo State become a place for reference for good governance. Anywhere, Edo State, what do you think? Uh, we are making you, we are keeping you informed with all that is going on, just to let you know all that is happening in Nigeria and around the world. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.